Welcome back. It's 555. You're watching Today in the Bay. In our climate in crisis, we look at how ocean surface temperatures affect weather patterns. And you may have heard of La Nina and El Nino having a huge impact on weather patterns, especially in the winter when we get most of our rain and snow. For La Nina, sea surface temperatures are colder than normal near the equatorial Pacific. And a cold ocean means less evaporation, less clouds. And in that area, it affects jet streams aloft that carry storm systems around the world. Right now, we're in our third year of La Nina pattern, each with varying effects on how much rain we got because of the position of the jet stream. In El Nino years, it tends to be the opposite. So we have warm sea surface temperatures creating more evaporation, more clouds, and a very active storm pattern that for the most part sends a lot of rain across the southern U.S. and the Bay Area being on the very edge of that subtropical jet, it could go either way. But we have new data out from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, that reveal that as global temperatures rise, El Nino events may boost that warmth even further, possibly causing more extreme droughts or rainfall events around the world. The outlook for this upcoming fall is for El Nino to develop. Check out the impacts of climate change on NBCBayArea.com and click on the Climate in Crisis tab.